All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, I just got done recording this video once before. It actually came out to being a bit over 15 minutes, so I had to scrap that um, in order to, you know, comply to YouTube policies. So, welcome back to our C++ tutorial series. I am Damien, and I'm going to be showing you something that I feel is somewhat useful. Um, I have this program entirely figured out because I just did it. So, um, in the last video, I logged on to xe.com, and uh, I pulled the current uh, conversion rate for dollars in euro. And it's one dollar, one euro equals one point four three dollars. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a currency converter. Now we're just going to use these two. Uh, these two currencies. In the future, I'm thinking around maybe level, uh, level, yeah, um, less than 40, 50, we might go ahead and we might make sort of a, a bit of a, a database, and we might kind of pull in a lot of values and make a sort of universal currency converter. Um, in the future, we might even expand on that a bit more, but that remains to be seen. Uh, for the time, You'll notice that I've declared some uh, variables. I've declared int choice, which is just going to be a number of our choosing. And then we have double dollars and double euro, and both are initialized to zero. We have character, which is quit, which has been initialized to a blank space. And we're going to run this program while quit does not equal n. And at the end of the program, we're going to C in for quit, which is going to be our optional way out. So if we're going to have the ability to convert uh, dollars to euro and back, we're going to have to give the user an option uh, on which path they want to take, euros to dollar or do dollars and euro. So we'll code it something like this. Um, we'll say press 1 to convert dollars to euro, and then we'll say or press 2 to convert euros to dollars. And then we'll just see in for choice. Uh, choice is going to either be a 1 or a 2. Again, there's going to be no checking on it. Um, we'll talk eh, maybe next lesson about kind of forcing people with very simple means. I showed you in a previous video and I want to go into a little bit more explanation about it. It'll be quick. Uh, so at this point we're just expecting to enter one or two. So we're going to say if choice equals one, which means they want to convert dollars into euro. So what we're going to do is see out, enter how many dollars you want to convert. Um, this is actually going to need a backslash n there. And then we're going to see in for dollars. Because again, we're converting dollars into euro this way, so we need to know how many dollars we're converting. So then all we're going to do is take dollars, or actually, I'm sorry, euro equals dollars and the conversion rate was 1 euro to 1.43 dollars, so that would be multiplication of euro. So since we're converting dollars into euro, it's going to be division by 1.43. So that's really all we're going to have to do. And then we're going to say C out dollars, which is going to be the amount of dollars we started with. Um, and we're going to say dollars converts into, and then we're going to see out the amount of euro that we presently have, and then we're going to um, do an end L. There we go. Sorry, I got a little lost there for a moment. And that's really all we have to do, is these four lines right here. And we're just going to handle the other side. We're going to say if choice 
equals 2. And we could actually copy paste that uh, and just change wherever it said euros, euros to dollars and dollars to euro and then multiply by 1.43. But I'll just type it out again. So we'll do the same thing. Um, enter how many euros you want to convert. And we're going to see in this time four euros. Oops, I was wondering why that wasn't lining up properly. I missed my scope operator. Um, okay, so we're going to see in for euros. Euro, I'm sorry. And then uh, dollars is going to equal euro multiplied by 1.43. And then we're going to see out euro, euros, converts into, and I guess that we can add a, a colon here to show how many dollars. Or if we really wanted to, we could just do like this. And yeah, th I like that. Um, actually, that's not going to work for euro. Let's pretend that this dollar sign before the euro is actually a uh, euro sign, because I don't have that on my uh, English keyboard. And so we'll just do that and type dollars, and then end L. And honestly, that's going to be the entire program right there. We can just run that as it is, and it's going to come out pretty much perfectly. Um, we'll run it, convert euros into, or dollars into euro. We'll try 143, because we know that should be 100 euro. And again, it says $100, but that's supposed to be euro. I just don't have a euro sign. You know what? I'm going to going to change it to an, an uppercase E in parentheses because I don't have it. <laughs> and I'm going to run it again, just try it the other way around. We're going to convert 100 euros and it equals $143, which is sort of what we expected. Um, I'll toss this code up for you, and as I said in my other video, I'm going to start assigning you guys homework. Um, this homework is completely optional but I don't have communication with a lot of uh, the students here, and I just kind of want you guys to be self-assessing along the way. So what I want you to do is I want you to make a calculator that runs in a while loop that we have the option of getting out of. Now you can get out of that uh, with a break statement, you can get out of it like how we did up here with this uh, while quit and then asking them if they want to quit at the end. There's a lot of different ways that you can do things. Um, now, I want that calculator to be able to do at least five things. I want it to be able to add, subtract, divide, multiply, and raise to a power. There are some of you who might want to go and, and Google and see if they can use square root. Um, I believe, I don't recall off the top of my head, but I think square root's just that, square root xy. Um, I'm not, I'm fairly certain that you can't use a double there. Um, but if you want to, you can certainly try. Or it might just be square root x. Yeah, that would make more sense. Um, I don't really recall. It's, I don't think I've ever actually had a good reason to use square root in my programming. Um, so I want to see you guys' examples of this. I'm going to make a, uh, a thread on Reddit in CPP for beginners, and hopefully you guys will participate in it, or else I'm going to look like a damn fool. Um, so I'm going to stop this here. We're just about ten minutes now, um, and I'll throw up the solution to this in about, I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes with a uh, walkthrough on how to do it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, and um, 
that's pretty much it. See you in a minute. <laughs>